hello and welcome to another new video of sap abap in this video we will find the enhancement and modification of a screen by using a screen exit or customer exit in this video we will find that what is a screen exit in the series of exits of SAP, uh, screen exit has a vital role in the screen modification. So, in this video, you will find the definition what is a screen exit, and furthermore, we will find that uh, how we can find the screen exit of any SAP standard screen. So, firstly, what is the screen exit? Screen exit uh, is used to add fields to the SAP standard screens like seal order, like purchase equation. All the standard SAP screens um, have the ability, um, not all, but most of all, uh, SAP gave the place where we can uh, use our business logic, we can add our business logic by adding the uh, new uh, fields on the standard screens. For this, we use SAP screen exit. So, if you want to add uh, add new fields into the SAP standard screen, we first have to uh, find the SAP standard screen number, and then uh, we will we will go to, we will go to the sub screen area of that screen. SAP if uh, if uh, if it want to give a customer some space to uh, add screen fields he uh, it must give some screen, sub screen area where a customer add its field and then uh, that sap standard screen relate and call the sub screen area um, sub screen area so that the all the field which a custom defined into the sub screen area automatically shows into the sap standard screen screen for example, if a screen ABC have uh, a screen number 100, 100 and it's called sub screen, uh, sub screen to 200. So, in the flow logic of SAP standard screen 100, uh, there there is a syntax, there is a uh, there is a added, added, uh, there is a more uh, lines of code added into the uh, into the flow logic. Uh, that is called call customer service screen from from by using this uh, sap uh, call the sub screen area or sub screen to the sap standard screen hope uh, you understand now uh, let's uh, find the syntax of uh, uh, calling the sub screen area the syntax is uh, calling the sub screen area is very simple here you can find uh, the syntax um, first of all call customer sub screen we can we have to write call customer sub screen uh, but in fact we don't have to write it's already present into the um, flow logic of standard sap screens you just have to understand what the syntax is so in this syntax, there is a uh, there is a keyword call customer sub customer customer hyphen sub screen, and then sub screen area, and then again uh, keyword including, and then the value program name, and then the customer sub screen number. For example, uh, if we use uh, call sub screen uh, here sale order a1 is a sub screen area including is a keyword and sap lxt is a program name and lastly 3000 is a um, screen number of sub screen let's uh, uh, let's find that uh, what are the methods and what are the ways we can find that the uh, that the standard SAP screen has the ability or SAP provide 
um, provide the flexibility of uh, screen exit to any SAP uh, standard screen so how we can find there are mainly uh, three ways to find the screen exit we will uh, we will move on one by one and you will understand uh, very clearly and very easily that how we can find the screen exits first of all if we uh, for example if we uh, use uh, me if we want to add some fields in the in the purchase location transition uh, all we can know that f me me 52 me 52 and for changing the purchase location transition so if a customer required a, a checkbox to the screen to acknowledge the data of the of the screen that the that the user must check and that box on uh, for for the acknowledgement that he read all the things he understand all the data the data is valid so a uh, customer wants to add a check box on the in the purchase equation uh, is screen uh, so we have to add this functionality by using the screen exit now let's ex explore the first method of finding the uh, screen exit moving on here the first and uh, um the first and generic uh, user uh, generic way of finding the screen exit is to call the call let transition like uh, like uh, cat 2 i am calling it here this is a time sheet is standard screen and uh, if we if a customer wants to add something in this screen uh, he can uh, he can add or not let's find if the screen exists present in this standard scheme we can do this first of all go to the system and then status here we can find what is the uh, what is his program name what is the standard screen number so go to the double click on the screen number here it's go it's uh, it's a redirect to the flow logic of that sap standard screen here we can find the a call customer sub screen name sub screen area and uh, here already um, the code is present with the keyword which we discussed earlier calls uh, call customer sub screen so it's mean uh, it's mean that the screen exit uh, is uh, possible in this standard screen i uh, personally i do not recommend this method because uh, um, in more co uh, more complex and many uh, many sap standard screen do not support uh, this method like if we Mm, if we apply this method to the me53 or me52n screen so we will not easily find the mm, find the screen exit uh, presence uh, presence by this you by using this method let's uh, uh, let's double click on the screen number 14 so if we go through this uh, uh, the flow logic of this screen we will not uh, we are not finding that uh, call customer uh, call customer sub screen is present here so i am not recommending uh, that method um, for finding the screen exit uh, let's explore another two method which uh, which uh, which is far better than the first method so method number two is 
first of all you have to uh, find the package of the of the screen you want to find the screen exit so here we again go to the system and then status and then go to the program double click on the program and then go to attributes of that program here we can find the package name of this program of a standard program of purchase equation let's copy it control C and then go to the transition SMOD SMOT here so go to the utilities menu and then click on find enter the package name into the package parameter control V and then execute it here we will find all the exits all the exit relate to the uh, related to that package so uh, how we can find the screen exit your question must be so uh, you must use control F and type screen and then enter you will find two sub screen user sub screen for additional data on AMPL control import data screens in purchase order so if double click on the user sub screen here it is and double click on the AMPL 001 on the exit name so it's redirect to the uh, next screen which shows the sub screen standard sub screen and the sub screen called screen uh, SAP LX AMP and this is a, a sub screen area name user 0001 and screen number the standard screen number is 0120 and the called number is 1000 so in the presence of this uh, is uh, this thing in screen areas means that the screen exit is present present in the in this particular uh, transaction uh, purchase equation now another method let's explore another method of finding the screen exit do uh, enter the transaction se84 se84 and then go to the enhancement customer exits and then again enhancement give the package name me again again here and then execute it will show in the same way that we already explored the all the exit present uh, present in that package and uh, if we double click on the user sub screen for additional data you will find the same result as we discussed earlier so let's find the screen uh, the sub screen area onto the um, onto the standard SAP screen after finding the screen areas and screens of the uh, uh, purchase execution standard screen uh, we uh, we can find where is the sub screen area uh, exists in the layout of the screen so now let's explore first of all copy the calling screen name control C and uh, we know that the number screen number is 0120 now start the next uh, session go to the SC51 transaction screen printer control V and then provide the screen number 0120 
and then click on display here we can find that the uh, line call customer service team uh, line is already already present into the flow logic of the screen and the service screen uh, area name is user 001 and the number of the service screen uh, is cud file which is dynamically uh, handled so if we double click on the user 001 service screen area and then layout we will find where the service screen area is exit let's explore it so this is the this is the area this is the service screen area if we uh, press f2 we will find this is the element type of the service screen area and the name of the service screen area so guys hope you learned many things uh, in this video we explored the definition and what are the screen exit and how we can find this screen exit in the next coming video we will uh, we will do uh, the uh, screen exit practically and we will add some fields into the uh, sub screen area and we will find how to um, how to manage the sub screen area and how to um, show the sub screen area to the SAP standard screen of purchase location. Till then, bye for now. Take care. Bye bye.